Song Thieves Remastered. Uh, we'll just play with normal, I guess. Everybody's gonna make my day. I did not tell half what I saw, for I knew I would not be believed. Marco Polo in his deathbed, 1324. That's a while ago. <coughs> That's in like... What, pirate error? That's Nathan Drake's, isn't it? It's my blood. Yep, that is your blood. Kind of stuff. Where the fuck am I? Whoa. Okay, we gotta get out. Yep, get out, get out. Just. Okay. Can I play? Oh, well, that sucks. So I had to wait for that to happen. Nice. Just even the detail under the bus is really nice. Ooh. Okay. And that did not hurt. That did not fucking kill you. Okay then. Fair enough. Nice to know that my character's invincible. That didn't kill you either. You just. It's okay. It's fine, man. It's fine. We've got to go up this pipe. And of course, it's Shafty. Shafty? I just invented a new word. And I did not. Somehow, did not let go. That's amazing. Alright, I remember. Jump in onto the ledge, all right. Ah, oh, seats. I don't trust these seats. Like I said, I don't trust these seats. I mean, the one I was sitting on did break. How am I even here? I wanna... How? Did I not die? Alright, how am I still here? <coughs> this way? Is that where I... Alright. This is... This pipe's gonna snap. Or not. Oh, it did. Would you look at that? Better not have done all this parkour for it to just fall off and I live somehow. I think I need to be... Just run! Run up, run up, run up, run up! Run up! <coughs> run up, run up, run up, run up! Jump! Of course it's muddy. Of course. You better fucking live. 
and the chances of you living them were like very high. <coughs> Why are you sad? You're in a tropical paradise. Buy me a drink, Taylor. <sighs> Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. Okay. <sighs> You're not going to like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. Can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it. And you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. Go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? <coughs> all right, chat, we've got to remember. Go Sewers? But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> so is up. I don't get it. Neither do cross we down. Why we track you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the Lost Fleet. Yeah. I don't know. Someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there were 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Look, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shall the fate of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So, we're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. You in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> The graphics on this one aren't, aren't as good as Uncharted 4, that's what I realised. Okay, I'll wake up here again. Was that a dream? Don't tell me that was a dream. Maybe have a look at your wound, cover it maybe, that might help. Oh, 
like you'd been crushed if that landed on you. <coughs> Ooh. Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna have to kill people. weird reload button Why can't I rotate my camera anyway? Hold on. Okay, one second chat. Why are you doing parkour when you probably have a bullet wound? What the fuck was that? Jesus Christ! Okay then. <laughs> um, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm just streaming, so that's why I was randomly talking. We found an ARC server, and it's good.
I'll be back.